Hello everybody. Today I am going to discuss about phase diagrams. So let's begin. So at first we need to know what is a phase diagram. A phase diagram in a material in terms of its microstructure is a region that differs in structure and or composition from another region. Phase diagrams are graphical representations of what substance or of what phases are present in a material system at various temperatures, pressure and compositions. Most, most phase diagrams are constructed by using equilibrium conditions and or used by engineers and scientists to understand and predict many aspects of the behavior of materials. Some of the important information obtained from phase diagrams is first one to show what phases are present at different compositions and temperatures under slow cooling conditions. Second one to indicate the equilibrium solid solubility of one element in another. Third one to indicate the temperature at which an alloy cooled under equilibrium conditions starts to solidify and the temperature range over which solidification occurs. Fourth one, to indicate the temperature at which different phases start to melt. Now let's talk about the solubility limit. It is the maximum concentration for which only a solution occurs and there is a diagram. So horizontally there is a composition of the material. So at this uh, at this point that is pure water and at this point it is pure sugar and this is the weight percentage of, of sugar. So at this point that there is 0% sugar, at this point 20% sugar, at this point 40% sugar, at this point 60% sugar, at this point 80% sugar at this point 100% sugar. So vertically there is temperature. So this temperature is from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius and there is a line and this line is called solubility limit. So at the left side of this solubility limit is a liquid solution that is like syrup and all the regions all are liquid. And at the right side of this solubility limit there is both liquid and solid. Both phases are here, liquid and solid. Both phases are here, and the solid portion is the sugar. And at this temperature, 19 degrees Celsius temperature, there is a percentage there. So it is 60 percent weight, 60 percent sugar. The so point is shown here. And let's check another example. So you can see a diagram here. So this percentage is the weight percentage of nickel. So at this point, there is zero percent nickel, and yeah, when you go to right direction, the weight percentage of nickel is increasing and finally at this point, the weight percentage of nickel is 100% and vertical there is temperature. So the maximum temperature is here 1600 degrees Celsius and there is one line that is arc structure line. This is called liquidus line and there is another line. This is called solidus line and just above the liquidus line, all the portions are liquid. All the portions are liquid and just where the solidus line all the portions are solid and in between liquidus and solidus line all the portions are liquid and solid. So here we get both liquid and solid. And let's talk about the, uh, the liver rule. So from the liver rule we, we know that or we can find that sum of weight fractions is weight percentage of liquid plus weight percentage of solid is, is equal to 1. And for weight percentage of nickel, uh, equal, uh, the weight percentage of liquid equal to the composition of the solid, that is the composition of the solid and this is the minus the composition at a given temperature and this is the composition of the solid minus composition of the liquid. So by using this formula we can find actually the composition of the liquid that is the uh, weight percentage of the liquid solution and by using this formula we can find the weight percentage of the solid solution and the 
this formula is here this is a formula and okay so there is another diagram so also this is a liquidus line and this is the solidus line and above this uh, above this line are the liquid solution and below this line all the solid solution and between this liquidus and solidus line all are liquid plus solid and there is a weight percentage of nickel and and the diagram is again here and we can see that the weight percentage is uh, nickel is increasing from left to right so here it is 20 percent nickel and here it is 50 percent nickel and the temperature is given here so there is three points that is a point a point b t a t b and last finally t d and this is the liquidus line and this is the solidus line okay now the weight percentage is given here so uh, the 35 percent 35 weight percent of nickel so that is this point so this is the given percentage here so from this point we can draw a vertical line so this is the vertical line and we have to find the weight percentage of solid and liquid at point ta so from at at ta temperature at ta temperature and weight percentage of 635 we have to find the weight uh, percentage of liquid and solid so already we have drawn a vertical line from 35 percent of nickel and from t we have to draw a horizontal line so these two lines will intersect at this point and we know that at this point all the liquid no solid is available here so liquid weight percent is 100 percent and solid weight percent is 0 percent and if we go for td point so if i draw a horizontal line this line intersects here and at this portion all are solid so you can say that here the solid weight percent is 100 percent and liquid is 0 percent now the difficult one is tb so if we draw a horizontal line from the TV, it intersects at this point, and at this point, both uh, liquid phase and solid phase exist. So, to solve this problem, from this point, we have to draw a horizontal line like this one. So, this horizontal line will intersect at this point with the liquidus line, and at this point with the solidus line. So, from this point, we have to draw a vertical line, and also from this point, we have to draw another vertical line. So, this vertical line intersects at this point and at this point the weight percentage of nickel is 32 and at this point the weight percentage of nickel is 43 so this is the solid percentage and this is the liquid percentage and if we put in formula like this one then we get the solid percent is 73 and the liquid percent is 27 and finally thank you for being with me. Thank you.